Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here for our very first live stream hop. This is Kendra. I would love it if you would introduce yourself in the chat and tell me where you're from. I'm from Florida and I live in a small town just outside of Jacksonville called Glen St. Mary. We're pretty much right along the Florida Georgia line in case you're wondering about my accent, but um, Today, we're trying something new. A few of my team members are trying, or we're doing this live stream where we're creating with the new challenge number 14 sketches. And we will cover each of the 15 sketches that are included in this free PDF printable. I will also be showcasing the March entries for Kendra's Card Challenge 13. And I will announce the winners as soon as I'm done showing you cards one and two. So I kind of have to hurry here. But if you're not familiar with my quarterly card making challenge, it's where you can create 15 cards using just six sheets of six inch by six inch pattern paper. And it has these cutting guides here that basically show you how to cut a sheet of paper efficiently so that you have little to no scraps and then you turn those pattern paper pieces into cards. So you can see there's scissors here that tell you where to make your first cut. There's measurements for each of the pieces and there's numbers that basically tell you which card sketch that these pieces go with. So um, this challenge is available for download for free during the quarter, which runs from April 1st to June 30th of 2024. And you can download this printable from my Patreon page. All you need to do is join as a free member and um, it's just basically entering your email address and when you do the post with the link with this uh, printable, it'll be pinned at the top of the page and then when you click on the PDF file, it automatically downloads to your downloads folder. So for all of the information and the link to my Patreon and everything that you need to know about my challenge, you can go to kendrascardchallenges.com. So what I have done I am uh, crafting with the April of 2024 bonus printable, which is a black and white digital card making kit that you can actually print on a laser printer and use it with toner foil. And I've already cut off the, the strips that uh, come on the first page, but this is just a small sample, sampler of what is included in this kit. And I decided to foil them. And I'll just quickly flip through the ones that I've foiled and I've used a variety of uh, toner foils or cheer foil from Pink and Main to to foil these and I know it's really hard to pick up on camera but they are really pretty. Um, these are all just a sample of the papers that you would get in the bonus printable and these are available for um, members of my Patreon which I know that I'll have other member team members that will be talking about the bonuses and also the color challenge that we have that's separate from the sketch challenge so um i'm not going to go into detail since i have a lot to cover in my video today but let's go ahead and get started now i wanted to show you a quick way to um make cards one and two if you don't want to make all 15 because i mean that, i know it takes a long time to do that so if you're just interested in making a few cards you can um, just, you know, cut the pieces that you need for the sketches you want to make. And this is kind of like a two for one card. So what I have done here, these pieces measure two and three quarter by four and a half. And then I went ahead and cut a three inch by four and three quarter inch panel to layer that up. And I have two of them. Now this particular one, this is one of the um, prints, was foiled with this ombre pastel cheer foil and it's got some purple in it as well as some some teal and I thought that it kind of matched the colors in the color challenge so I'm gonna try to stick to the the color challenge as well it's close enough I mean orchid purple same so that's what I'm working with today and so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down and then I'm going to cut them and we'll show you how to cut these so that you get the two for one cards. So hopefully this is not clogged. Um, <laughs> this is my favorite craft tool at the moment. Oh, yay. Okay, it's coming out. Um, one thing I've noticed, if you have a full panel of something that's foiled, 
the, the liquid glue will kind of show through. Um, so be careful with that if you're working with one of the prints that's like the chevron. I think most of it was foiled. Let me see. See like this one here or this one, you might be able to see the lines of glue depending on how thick your paper is. Now this paper is actually semi-gloss paper and it's 80 pound and I use that to print on mainly because it's thicker and I like the quality of it and I love how it prints, but I forgot to show these. These are the silhouette. This is the 13th page. These are, um, you can use these black and white as a silhouette pattern or you can foil them. And then I use the negative of it to um, also make some additional prints. And this is the negative of the one that I'm using here, but super pretty. I absolutely love these. I have not made cards with them yet, but I'm looking forward to doing that. But look, I've already got fingerprints on it. So you gotta be careful with the foil um, for a couple of things, but let's go ahead and get this other one glued on here. I'm kind of pressed for time because there were over 150 entries for March. And I had to go ahead and pre-record that and the, you know, announcing the winners because I would definitely go over 40 minutes if I tried to do this, to, if I tried to do that part live, but I am over in the live chat. So if you have any questions at all, please ask me there. All right, so now that these are glued, this one has probably dried. I'm gonna go ahead and take my ruler and I'm going to measure instead of it, instead of measuring at one and a half, since I have this layer, I'm gonna measure at one and three quarter. So I'm going to take, oh, I don't have a pencil, really? Okay, I'm gonna take this pen and hope that it doesn't show up. Matter of fact, I think I'm gonna do it on the other side. So one and three quarter, I mark that right there. And then I'm gonna measure one and three quarter Mark this right here. And this is so that I can make that little corner, you know, like on the cutting guide right there. I can make this darker here on the front. All right, so I don't think I'll be able to cut through all four layers. Normally I would be doing this at the same time, but because I've got these layers on here now, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so I'm going to put this line, and I apologize for my my nails. <laughs> I have been gone for a few days for my son's weightlifting regionals, and I have not had a chance to get them redone, so. All right, where is the line? See? I should have had a pencil. Mark this again a little darker. There we go. Now, so I'm putting these marks in my cut line. Okay. And I'm going to use this to cut my other piece just so that I know they're the same. So I'm just going to line this up here. Make sure that that lines up. I don't have it level, there we go. Okay. Get that over Ted. Move that out of the way. So now they should, and this is actually part of um, sketch three. So save that. Um, but from this corner to this bottom corner is what I'm cutting off. And I'm not going to do that together because I think I can do this. <laughs> Let's see here. There we go. So this is going to be for card one, and this is for card two. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Right. 
So now I have what I need. And I'm going to use these mint green, whatever color you want to call these. But let me show you the sketch, sketch one and two. This is um, sketch number one here. So basically, you're just going to line up this and this and glue that down. And then you're going to line up that there. And then on this card, you're going to put this here and then this one here. And depending on, um, I guess, how far over you do it, really and truly, if you, if you line this corner up in this part of the card, um, you're going to be a little bit off. So I think what I did when I made this was I scooted this over and then I scooted this just a tad bit down on my last card. And then I trimmed off what was hanging down at the bottom. So for me, lining this up across here is more important than having that in the corner. So it really is up to you. I'm kind of a perfectionist, so I just want to make sure that these line up. But this is how I'm going to glue it down. Um, and then my plan is to put this on here like so. And then for this one, I'm probably just going to put this butterfly. Um, that's, that's my plan. And then maybe this I have this other thank you from the printable also. I fussy cut this butterfly out. I may just leave this off. And it looks like I'm already over my time. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and start my uh, showcase video. And basically, you guys understand what's happening here. I'll probably pop this up with some foam tape. Same with this. But I'll be gluing these so that these line up and I'll be using my ruler. Um, but yeah, this is an easy way to do cards one and two without having to do all 15. And if you are doing all 15, maybe you wanna save those two strips from paper A and go ahead and put the layers on them before you cut them. And then just know that you have to measure a quarter of an inch wider for where you're placing things. So what I'm gonna, Go ahead and do is pull up my pre-recorded showcase of entries for the March entries for Kinder's Card Challenge 13 and also the March Color Challenge entries. I'll do a showcase of those and then when we're done with that, we will um, go over the monthly and quarterly prize winners. I'm going to put the video of me assembling the rest of these cards in the bottom right hand corner so you can see what I'm doing while I'm also showing off these cards. So I hope you enjoy. I'm going to play some music, but I will come back in a few times to kind of explain what I'm doing on some of the things that aren't really self-explanatory, but enjoy.
So before I play the next song, I wanted to quickly mention that the the confetti sequins that I'm using here, these are ones that have holes in the center. And I was told that if you add like touch of gloss or um, glossy accents on top of these type of sequins, you won't be able to see the hole. <laughs> and I've never tried this before. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just adding a little bit of touch of gloss from Pink and Main up on top of these sequins. And of course, this is, good, this is gonna take a bit to dry, so I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm gonna give it a try and see if it looks kind of like enamel dots. But these match perfectly with the foil. And um, here I'm just starting assembling card number two. So um, I'll play another song and come back in just a bit. try to line these up <laughs> but that didn't quite work out my um, glue dried way faster than I thought it was as I was trying to scoot it over so I ended up having to trim off um, the edge of it because I had like a sixteenth of an inch between the triangle and the edge of my card base so I just took my paper trimmer and tried to cut that off but it wouldn't cut through the three layers so I ended up having to use my scissors so it is off just a little bit but um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this card and play another song come back in just a minute
yes it did take me over two minutes to glue down my butterfly <laughs> I, those little antennas were a little bit too skinny they're they were skinnier than my one eighth of an inch foam strips that I had so I tried to cut it in half and that didn't really work out too well so I just um, tried to piece together what was pretty skinny and um, I think it's I think it's okay you can't see the foam uh, but here I'm just going to add some of those sequins around this butterfly and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to add that touch of gloss in hopes that it does like I was told but um, I do see that my two triangles are not quite lined up the way I'd like they're they're not even so I probably will end up adding that circle thank you sentiment there just to kind of cover that up so you won't be able to see that it's off but I'm um, gonna we'll play another song and I'll be back up these last few entries for the March color palette challenge and then we will go over the winner so the winner for the March color palette challenge is Erica Clark congratulations Erica now I will share the winners for sketches 11 through 15 sketch 11 is Jessica McLean sketch 12 is Tammy Took. sketch 13 is Angie Kogel Sketch 14 is Min Kitchen, and sketch 15 is Denia Boise. Congratulations, and I apologize if I mispronounced your name. So now let's do the March monthly prize winners, and I'm going to start with the prizes that need to be shipped. So I'm only selecting the entries from the USA, and I'll copy them over here into Wheel of Names, and I'll paste them in this box and shuffle them up real quick. And our first winner will be for the die set from me and the winner is 
Debbie Whitaker. Congratulations, Debbie. Now let's see who the winner is for the stamp set from me. And the winner is... Alyssa Howard. Congratulations, Alyssa. Now the next prize is for the mystery card making kit from me. And the winner is... Brenda Williams Katrine. Congratulations, Brenda. And then the next three prizes are the Colorado Craft Company stamp sets. And the first stamp set goes to Dana Barantine. Congratulations, Dana. The second stamp set goes to Lisa Acker. Congratulations, Lisa. And the third stamp set goes to Terry Murphy Matusik. Congratulations, Terry. And then the next prize is the Pink and Main prize pack. And the winner is Cheryl Nevins. Congratulations, Cheryl. And now for the this calls for confetti mix. And the winner is Janine Aguilard Rick. Congratulations, Janine. And now I'll go back over to my spreadsheet and I'm going to select the remaining entries for March. So everyone that submitted cards in March into the Kendra's Card Challenges Facebook group. You can just scroll up just a little bit. And if you did not put your country in your photo caption, um, I'm not selecting your name. So please make sure that you um, do that whenever you're uploading your photo to the Facebook group. Um, if you don't enter that in there, I don't know um, where, you, where you're from. And that's actually part of being eligible. So I've pasted those names in here. And the winner for the Crafty Meraki gift certificate is Lonnie Westover. Congratulations, Lonnie. And the winner for the Polka Doodles digital prize pack of $25, your digital of your choice, is Sandra Wilby. Congratulations, Sandra. So that's a $25 gift certificate. And now the winner for the Trinity Stamps $30 gift certificate is Linda Purdy Hawk. Congratulations, Linda. And then the next prize is for the $20 gift certificate to Uniquely Creative. And the winner is Amy Tromberg Grantsburg. Congratulations. Now let's cover the quarterly prize winners. So I'm going to start with Crafton Kimmy, the gift certificate for $20. And I'm just going to select the entries for Canada since Crafton Kimmy is located in Canada, just to kind of save on shipping there. So I'm going to copy and paste all of the entries throughout the quarter from Canada into here. And let's spin and see who the winner is. And so the winner for the Crafton Kimmy $20 gift certificate is. Jan Garrett, congratulations, Jan. All right, so let me go ahead and remove these names here, and then I'm gonna go back over to my spreadsheet and select all of the, just the international entries. And this is going to be for the $50 gift certificate to Poco Doodles. And I figured since we have so many USA prizes, um, I would just, select the international people for this particular prize and I will paste these names over here so all of the international entries for the quarter are here and the winner of the $50 gift certificate to Poco Doodles is Liette LePage congratulations Liette all right now let's go over back to over to the spreadsheet I'll remove these names first and I'm going to just select all of the entries for or from the USA. And this is for the $25 gift certificate to Scrappy Boy Stamps. And then after I do this one, we'll have everybody included um, that included their country. So I'm going to paste these over. And this is quite a few names. Um, so this may take a second. Oh, 
oh boy so it definitely uh it's freezing up my computer so let's see if it there it goes again well hopefully it'll do its thing oh there we go wow <laughs> this looks crazy and this is just the usa all right so the winner of the scrappy boy gift certificate for 25 dollars is jackie osborne sloas i'm sorry if i pronounced that wrong congratulations jackie all right so now i'm gonna select everybody so everybody that's not highlighted right now i'm gonna go up and select them also so i'm gonna just go upward that's probably easier i love that we have so many countries so many people from different countries um, participating in the challenge this is awesome i'm trying to find the bottom of my list here whoops okay so let me paste this in here and I'm gonna shuffle up these names and we will draw for the remaining quarterly prizes that are available to everyone okay i'm gonna shuffle these up but it looks like my computer is <laughs> running kind of slow so yeah it's not really spinning the way it usually does okay so our first winner of the alta new 15 dollars gift certificate is joanne briggs wamsley and we have two of these so the second winner of the alta new 15 dollars gift certificate is pam tetro i'm sorry if i pronounced that wrong congratulations pam now for the 25 dollars gift certificate to artful angel the winner is Kelly Otto. Congratulations, Kelly. And now for the winner of the Gina K Designs $25 gift certificate. The winner is Karen Schaefer. Congratulations, Karen. And now for the $25 gift certificate to Cat Scrappiness. The winner is Karen Marcotte, congratulations, Karen. And next we have the $25 gift certificate to Lawn Fawn. And the winner is Renate Kelly, congratulations. And then we have our $25 gift certificate to MFT Stamps, or my favorite thing, Stamps. And the winner is Andrea Horabin, congratulations, Andrea. And next we have the $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby Shop. If my computer will cooperate. Oh, and the winner is Joshua Ryan. Congratulations, Joshua. I don't know why it doesn't show that it's giving it a full spin, but I promise I click it. And then the $25 gift certificate winner for Pear Blossom is Jenny Bowling, congratulations, Jenny. Our next prize is the $25 gift certificate to Pink and Maine. And the winner is Anne Marie Keim. Congratulations, Anne Marie. And then our next prize is the $30 gift certificate to Pretty Pink Posh. And the winner is. Paula McLean, congratulations, Paula. And now for the $25 gift certificate to Scrappy Tales Crafts. And the winner is Virginia Ellison, congratulations, Virginia. And now for the winner of the $25 gift certificate to Spellbinders. And the winner is Linda Eaton. Congratulations, Linda. And our next prize is the $25 gift certificate to This Calls for Confetti. And the winner is Sue Webb. Congratulations, Sue. 
And for our final quarterly prize, and this is the $50 gift certificate to Whimsy Stamps, the winner is Anna York. Congratulations, Anna. So congratulations to all of our prize winners. If you are a prize winner, please be sure to complete the prize claim form that's located down in the description box by April 14th of 2024 to claim your prize. And our mystery kit winner for all access and VIP patrons is Andrea Taft. And I'd also like to take a moment to thank all of my patrons that are shown here. I really, really appreciate your support. And I um, hope that if you are not an, a paid patron, that you will consider becoming a patron to help support what I do, what I offer to the crafty community. Um, you can receive lots of extra perks and benefits. So for more information about that, please visit patreon.com forward slash Kendra's Card Challenges. You can receive bonus printables like the one I just showed. I would like to invite you to join in on challenge 14 if you are not already participating. If you have not downloaded the file, please visit kendrascardchallenges.com for all of the information that you need on how to enter. There's also a link to the PDF on my Patreon as well as a link to the introduction video which is um, that shows how to cut the papers and explains how to enter and everything else. So. I hope you will continue to hop along today with the rest of the members of the creative team that are participating in this live stream hop. You will now be redirected over to Lynn with LV Handcrafted's channel. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.